A Kim Jong-il production, the extraordinary true story of a kidnapped filmmaker, his star actress, and a young dictator's rise to power by Paul Fisher is a captivating narrative that unveils the bizarre and surreal world of North Korea under the rule of Kim Jong-il. Through the lens of a kidnapped South Korean filmmaker and his star actress, Fisher offers a riveting account of the political machinations and cultural eccentricities that characterize the regime's obsession with cinema and propaganda. The book is, at its core, a testament to the overwhelming power of cinema as a tool for manipulation and control. The narrative begins with the audacious kidnapping of Shin sang ok and Choi eun hee a renowned director and actress duo from South Korea. Fisher masterfully weaves their experiences into a broader narrative that traces the rise of Kim Jong-il, revealing how he harnessed their talents to realize his ambitious cinematic dreams. Fisher's meticulous research and extensive interviews with Choi Eun-hee and other key figures involved in this bizarre tale provide readers with a deeply immersive experience. His writing is rich in detail and brimming with suspense, making it almost read like a thriller. The reader becomes a silent observer of the kidnappings, the couple's desperate attempts to escape, and their eventual collaboration with Kim Jong-il in the North Korean film industry. One of the book's strengths is its portrayal of the psychological toll that captivity took on the kidnapped couple. Fisher delves into their conflicting emotions, anger, despair, fear, and, eventually, acceptance, and their complex relationship with Kim Jong-il. Choi eun hees resilience and resourcefulness in particular shine through, as she navigates the treacherous waters of North Korean politics while striving to protect her family. Fisher also does an excellent job of contextualizing the events within the broader historical and political landscape. He provides insights into the turbulent relations between North and South Korea, the dynamics of the Cold War, and Kim Jong-il's obsession with Western cinema as a means of projecting power and legitimacy. This background information adds depth and clarity to the narrative, helping readers understand the motivations of the key players. Moreover, the book offers a fascinating glimpse into North Korean society, both past and present. Fisher's portrayal of the opulence enjoyed by Kim Jong-il and the stark contrast with the everyday struggles of ordinary North Koreans is both chilling and thought-provoking. It underscores the extent to which the regime manipulated its own people and perpetuated a facade of prosperity. The themes of art, propaganda, and manipulation run throughout the narrative. Fisher highlights how Kim Jong-il used cinema not only as a form of entertainment but also as a potent weapon for maintaining his grip on power. The production of films like Pulgasari and The Flower Girl serves as a lens through which readers can explore the intersection of art and authoritarianism. The narrative's climax, featuring the audacious escape of Choi eun hee and Shin sang ok from North Korea, is a heart-pounding moment in the book. Fisher expertly builds tension as he describes the couple's daring flight to freedom, making it impossible to put the book down. This escape marks a turning point not only in their lives but also in their contribution to the world's understanding of North Korea's enigmatic regime. While, a Kim Jong-il production, is a gripping account of an extraordinary true story, it also raises important ethical questions about the responsibilities of artists in oppressive regimes. Shin sang ok and Choi eun hee initially compelled to collaborate with Kim Jong-il out of fear for their lives, ultimately played a role in perpetuating his propaganda machine. This moral complexity adds depth to the narrative, encouraging readers to ponder the choices made by those who find themselves caught in the web of authoritarianism. In conclusion, Paul Fisher's A Kim Jong-il Production is a meticulously researched and riveting account of a bizarre chapter in the history of cinema and politics. 
Through the lives of Shin sang ok and Choi eun hee the author paints a vivid picture of North Korea under Kim Jong-il's rule, offering profound insights into the power of cinema as a tool of control and the resilience of the human spirit in the face of adversity. This book is a must-read for anyone interested in the intersection of art, politics, and the human experience.